Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Coffee Break with Terra by Laura today. Friday, January 3rd, the third day of January. And of course, I'm running. Of course, I'm running late. What else is new? I hope everybody's doing great. I hope everybody, I hope somebody joined me. <laughs> I know I'm late. Hi, Bella knew it. You saved my day, honey, because I'm running late and I was wondering if anybody was going to join. <laughs> ha na 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 na. How are you? This is Coffee Break with Tara by Laura Gonzalez, January 3rd, mm. 2020, the Roaring Twenties. Hi, Mandy. How are you? So, because on Wednesday we did the card for the year and there was an explanation in depth of two cards, I've decided that today we're going to do oracles. And the oracles that I have are Wisdom of the House of Night and I have the Gospel of Meridia by Stacey DeMarco. And I also have the Oracle of Visions by Sarah Marchetti. And without further ado, Anjanine, how are you, darling? Happy New Year. Happy 2020. I hope everybody's hearing me and seeing me well. The first Oracle we're going to use is the House of Night. And this is a very peculiar oracle. I love it because it's got silver corners. Bruja del Norte says there's a interference in the audio. Don't worry about it. It's going to be on IGTV and then you can rewatch. Um, okay, let's see what the House of Night. Fulfillment. Look at this beautiful pomegranate card. So, fulfillment. Let's see what is the uh, message. It says, this is a sign that all your needs are being met that you are close to achieving your goals. Celebrate your choices at this time, for you have drawn the symbol of fulfillment. Now is the time to integrate and digest what you have learned of late. Savor every moment and know that every encounter is intended to free, to feed your soul. What a beautiful, beautiful uh, message. This is a sign that all your needs are being met, that you are close to achieving your goal. Celebrate your choices at this time, for you have drawn the symbol of fulfillment. Now is the time to integrate and digest what you have learned of late. Savor every moment and know that every encounter intended is intended to feed your soul. What a beautiful, beautiful message. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And, you know, there it is, fulfillment. The next card that we're going to pull is going to be something from the Gospel of Aradia. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Okay, the Gospel of Aradia is saying, doo -doo -doo, we have blood. We have a, I think that tree is called the white birch. I'm not an expert on trees, please forgive me. But it's the white tree. All right. It says, you are the result of millennia of love, struggle, joy, and fortune. There is only one of you, and you have been born with a unique set of talents and unique purpose. An agreement you have made is binding you. You will be released from it only with difficulty. Your family issue must be dealt with promptly. So there you have it, blood. And if you have 
any family issues, to tackle them, to see them through, to heal. And there's a little poem here that they add. It binds, it blinds, it glows, it owes. One drop contains the world. The world is one, is in one flow. Sealing a promise at the midnight hour, linking us to those before, to a curse, it brings power. So let's forget about the curse and focus on the healing. You are the result of millennia of love, struggle, joy, and fortune. There is only one of you, and you have been born with a unique set of talents and a unique purpose. An agreement you have made is binding you. You will be released from it only with difficulty. Your family issue must be dealt with promptly. You know, folks, I really truly believe that every person in the world should have therapy, should go to therapy, and should heal those family binding blood curses. They are nothing but struggles and voices in our head that needs to be uncover and heal so we can move forward in life speaking of healing this sunday i will be at the free reiki clinic in pilsen at the blue eyes blue island uh clinic alternative healing i think it's called uh from 12 to 2 thursday thursday january 9th we have mystic night at the Weiner beer here in back of the yards friday i have my workshop on abundance prosperity and good fortune that is on ojo de fortuna friday january 10th uh tickets are available on my facebook page or by eventbrite and saturday and sunday the 10th and the 11th i'm offering energy cleansings i'm offering limpias for the new year and all you have to do is call me or text me to set up your appointment with that being said let's go to the last card that we have and i think this one is called freedom but don't believe me i will look on the book and that is the awesomeness of oracles that you don't have to memorize them you just can connect with the visuals so this one it says letting go offering a way out Truly loving another means letting go of all expectations. It means full acceptance, even celebration of another's personhood. That is a quote from Karen Casey. Have the courage to set it free. If it flies away, it has never truly yours. If it returns of its own free will, then you know for sure it was yours. Loving others unconditionally and respecting their freedom so they can come back to us if so they will and if so they wish you know it's quite interesting that we have cards that mean abundance and fulfilling but at the same time we have healing those family ties and letting go of how we want our relationships to be and appreciating or being open to have those relationships be what they should be if we respect each other's freedom. That is quite interesting. I didn't expect this oracle reading to be that profound, but when you put it together, it has a very deep meaning, um, including that of healing family wounds and, and you know, that blood, um, curse that they were talking about i think it's quite interesting that we get this to begin the year because i think it will set us on a path of deep healing and understanding that part of our struggle comes from that trauma uh from family but anyway i don't want to go any deeper into that you do you boo you find the ways to heal and please follow us on facebook share Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Instagram Live. I'm everywhere. Share and tell your friends about it. 
And if you need to see me, you can see me at Ojo Fortuna, usually from Thursday to Friday. And I also do online readings, in case you were wondering, for people who are not here in Chicago, I also do uh, via video message readings. So until then, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye, IGTV. And bye-bye, Instagram Live. Much love. And my dear Facebook people, you are the majority today. There's nine people watching. Thank you so much for watching, for sharing, and for liking. And until Monday, you are loved. Bye-bye.